Here are Grandma's 12 oddly useful food hacks you'll wish you knew sooner. Apply mayo to the fish. If you want your fish to be moist and delicious, spread a little mayonnaise on it before cooking. The mayo helps retain moisture and gives the fish a nice golden crust when you bake or grill it. Just give it a light coat, add your favorite spices, and cook as you usually do. This technique works wonders for lean fish that can dry out quickly, so you'll always have perfectly cooked fish. Cook potatoes in thick cream. Grandma has a secret for making potatoes super rich and creamy. She uses heavy cream instead of water or broth. This gives the potatoes a decadent texture and a rich flavor, making them ideal for things like gratin or mashed potatoes. Just slice or cube your potatoes, pop them in the oven with the heavy cream, and let them bake until they're nice and tender. The cream will thicken up, wrapping the potatoes in a smooth, velvety sauce. Use silica to keep your pastries nice and fresh. Did you know that a little silica gel can do wonders for your pastries? It helps absorb moisture, keeping them nice and crisp instead of soggy or stale. After baking, pop your pastries into an airtight container with a silica packet, like the ones you get in shoeboxes or snack bags. Just check that the packet is still sealed. Add some anchovies to spice up your bolognese. To give your bolognese sauce a richer flavor, Think about adding a few anchovies. They'll melt into the sauce and add a subtle umami taste that won't overpower everything. Just toss in two or three anchovies while you're cooking the onions and garlic, let them dissolve in the oil, and then move on with your recipe. Mix baking soda with onions. Did you know that a little baking soda can help you caramelize onions faster? It raises the pH level, making it easier for the onions to break down and brown. Just saute them like normal, add a pinch of baking soda, and keep cooking you'll get that delicious sweet flavor in no time. This tip is perfect for when you're in a hurry, but still want those beautifully caramelized onions for your meals. When boiling potatoes, add baking soda. If you want your mashed potatoes to be incredibly fluffy, just add a pinch of baking soda to the boiling water. It raises the pH, which helps the starches in the potatoes break down better, making them softer and easier to mash. While boiling, just sprinkle in a bit of baking soda and keep cooking as you normally would. The result? Super tender potatoes that mash up beautifully, giving you a light and creamy texture. Combine cake batter with zucchini. If you want a cake that's super moist and tender, try adding some grated zucchini to the mix. It brings in moisture without changing the taste, making your cake soft and delightfully dense. Just grate a cup or two of zucchini and fold it into your batter before you bake. The zucchini mixes in perfectly, giving your cake a little extra moisture and a nutritional kick. This hack is especially great for chocolate or spice cakes, where the zucchini really enhances the flavors. Add fish sauce to onion soup. Want to take your onion soup to the next level? Try adding a splash of fish sauce. It really boosts the umami flavor without introducing any fishiness, making your onions taste even better. Just stir in a teaspoon or two while the onions are caramelizing and let it mix in. This simple addition will give your soup a richer, more layered flavor that's sure to impress. Place an ice cube over the burger patties. To make your burgers extra juicy and flavorful, consider adding an ice cube to each patty before grilling. The ice will melt during cooking, infusing moisture into the meat and keeping it from drying out. Just put a small ice cube in the center of each patty and shape the meat around it. Grill them up as you normally would, and you'll enjoy burgers that are incredibly moist and tender. This simple tip ensures your homemade burgers are as delicious and juicy as those from your favorite restaurant. Mix egg yolk with mashed potatoes. For a richer and creamier mashed potato experience, you may wish to add an egg yolk. This ingredient enhances the overall richness and aids in binding the potatoes, resulting in a smoother texture. After mashing, quickly incorporate the egg yolk while the potatoes are still hot as the heat will gently cook the yolk, enriching delightful, buttery essence. Add baking soda to your grits. To achieve that creamy, tender texture in your grits, try adding a pinch of baking soda during cooking. It helps break down the cornmeal more effectively and cuts down on cooking time. Just mix in a small pinch with your usual liquid as you cook. The result, a smoother, creamier texture that's ready in no time. This little tip will ensure your grits are perfectly soft and velvety, totally irresistible. Squeeze orange juice into banana bread. Have you ever tried adding a splash of fresh orange juice to your banana bread? It really gives it a zesty kick. The acidity from the orange juice cuts through the sweetness of the bananas and adds a nice tang that takes the loaf to the next level. Just mix in a couple of tablespoons of orange juice into your batter before you bake it. You'll end up with a moist, delicious bread that has a lovely citrus hint to go along with the banana flavor. For more content like this, please subscribe.